There we I go. watched that happen. That was on the right ones. Woo, there we go. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are out here again on the Fox River. It's a little bit uh, later in the afternoon right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now, we had a darn good morning of fishing. I am out here with John Lehman from Mindac Outdoors, and of course, Cody Solberg. The official count for the day. Ooh, what are we at? <laughs> chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Guys, we had an awesome day out here today. I'm not gonna waste too much time. We are going to reverse back a few hours and jump right into today's video. Awesome to get out here. This is our second trip out on the Fox. This is crazy early. I believe today is February 8th. Uh, we just got out here on Monday, caught some walleyes, and things picked up another notch out here today. Get in there, Brad. There we go. Yep, saw him come up on the live scope. Just a little guy. There we go. First fish of the day. So I'm zooming in on the old live scope. Nice little fish. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back. Just a shorty to start the morning off. Show you what we got that one on. Got that pink lemonade tungsten jig. This is called the meathead jig from Frostbite. We used this the other day while we were out here for our first send on the Fox, and it did pretty well. Again, we are just vertical jigging right over the edge. We're out deep. We're sitting in about 25 feet of water here staying pretty much between about 23 to 26 feet of water. We are seeing more fish on live scope already this morning than we did probably our entire trip last time. So that one, that one was fired up. I saw him coming in on the left from behind the boat here and came up and crushed it. We're gonna see if we can get another one. Hey, there he is. Little guy. Hello, friend. There we go, fish number two. Minnow pops out. Boom, right in the snout. We like that. We're looking for something a little bit bigger though. Thanks for stopping by. Two fish already. They seem a little bit more active than what we were seeing a couple days ago while we were out here. Let's see if I can salvage this minnow or not. Uh, he, he's damaged. That's what we're gonna call him, damaged. We're gonna get a new minnow. We might mess around with a couple different things out here today. We might try some plastics and some other stuff. Maybe some hair. Maybe throw some hair jigs. We'll see. Let's grab another minnow and get back down there. Hopefully this fat head will catch me a fat walleye. Pretty simple technique. Marking a couple fish on live scope. We're just pitching it out five, 10 feet from the boat here. Bounce it right off bottom. Pick it up, maybe only about a foot or two is all you need, sometimes less than that even. Chase it, come on buddy, chase it. I know you're there. There he is, <laughs> got him. Watch that one eat. Yep, this is a better one too. I'm gonna grab a net, Cody. It's a good fish. There we go. There we go. This one for you? That one we watched on the live scope. Pitched it out. Thanks, buddy. Nice net job there. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Take a look at that. Beauty of a fish. A small little pops off bottom. That one came up and choked the old tungsten jig. We're gonna grab a quick picture, get him back. That's a solid fish. Probably right around that 19 to 20 inch mark. Hello. Is that another nice one? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it feels decent. Oh, <laughs> oh boat flip him in. Whoa! Well, another one came up there and crushed the old tungsten jig. Just a little guy. See you later. Yeah, Cody, what's going on? I don't know what happened. How come this kid's beating you today? What happened the last time we were out? I don't know. I guess I forgot how to fish. <laughs> Whoever was not playing cod sat on the... Oh boy! There's one. Sorry, Dude. I stole your fish. <laughs> what? Brandon is just on some today. Hey. Yeah, but I'm catching dinks. We had one nice one, right? 
Yeah, you did. Yeah, but you're catching fish. No, nope. that's right. That's right. We're catching fish. That's all that matters. Alrighty, boys. Well, came up. We were telling stories. And I ended up stealing that fish from John. I kind of feel bad because I snuck right up behind you and I just stole that fish it's from okay. you. It's okay, I'm putting the juice on. Oh, he's switching to a meathead tungsten jig too. 20 feet in front of the boat. That's my daughter, do you know? Yeah, I would think she's something else. Oh, hello. Oh my God. <laughs> we out here. I'm not sure what the boys are doing. Wait, 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 what is this? What is going on there? There's some like fuzz on this thing. Was that on the bottom or in this walleye's mouth? I don't even know. That is interesting, but got ourselves another one. We're clapping out here, boys. I'm not sure what the guys in the front of the boat are doing. I mean, I was up there earlier clapping. Now I'm in the back of the boat because I figured, you know what? We got to let John Lehman, we got to let the Mindak boys try to see some fish on the old live scope but yeah you know what i guess it don't matter where we're at we're just hucking and pucking down there getting them in the boat <laughs> the og line from Brad. <laughs> i haven't busted that one out in a minute i don't know where that one came from what do you mean fuzz bro? fuzz like like what like the of inside of like a glove like like white oh, fuzz i don't know it's the fox river anything's possible Oh, <sighs> yeah. Okay, hang on, hang on. So, what are we hooking into? Because that wasn't a fish, it's more fuzz. Look at this, come here. Look at what I'm talking about. There's like fuzz. What? Yeah. Yeah, maybe there's like a coat or something down there that I hooked into. I don't know. Hello, boy. I think we are going to retire the old blade bait. We gave it an honest effort, tried for, I've probably been using this for a solid 45 minutes now at least. Putting her away, John, putting her away. You just want, you just had to try it though. Yeah, I mean like, cause if the blade bait bite is on, which I know it's crazy early, so it shouldn't be, but if it was, that would be fun. Yeah. This is definitely a bait that I'm gonna come back to a lot this spring. Probably one of my favorite things to throw. Get a good reaction bite out of these walleyes. It's just a little bit early, but that's the whole point of this thing. When the fish are lethargic and they're not biting cold water, this thing will still get them to trigger. Well, been dabbling with a couple different techniques today and we decided we're going back to good old reliable. Jigging a minnow. We tried throwing some hair. Tried going up shallow and throwing hair as well. Also did try a blade bait and you know, it's just not there right now. Potentially could definitely catch a fish on it. You never know. But jigging a minnow seems to be doing the trick, so we're gonna stick to it because that's what's catching fish. There's one. That was pretty much right away. Um, no, it's okay. Flipper. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, going back to good old reliable because it's working. We're gonna get this guy back into the water wow that is uh that's crazy that didn't take long we decided to start another pass went back up and uh yeah that took about 60 seconds not even Ooh. there's two minnows left wait that's it yeah only two minnows left that's sad might have to cut things short or you know i haven't tried a plastic yet maybe we'll switch to a plastic if we run out of minnows but ha, ah, that's tough because i'll tell you what live bait really is working good That's a good one too. Oh, there he goes. Quick release. <laughs> you got that one. That was a good one too. Yeah, yeah. You got him. <laughs> what the hell was that? Some like grass. Oh, it's fishing line. Ah, that's tough. <laughs> oh, the fox. You just never know what you're going to catch in the fox. Never know what you're gonna get. The fox is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. Sorry for ruining your New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Her mouth tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Cody. Yeah, we got that one on a plastic, Brandon. 
Really? You switched to a, oh yeah, you did switch to a plastic. I, I kind of forgot about that. Switch to a plastic because we're running out of memos. That one demolished it. Come on. There we I go. watched that happen. That was one of the right ones. Woo. I watched that happen. That's so cool. It's a good one. Yeah. You want to grab that? Yeah. Hashtag on them. Hashtag hee hee. Thanks, gent. Woo, there we go. Brad, you're a beast, bro. Hey, <laughs> you're thanks, a beast. Man. Not a bad one. It's like fat. Yeah, it's a fat one. Not super long, but good fish. Wow, that one came up and throttled it. I noticed earlier this morning, the rods were loaded when you'd pick it up off bottom when you had a fish. Now, lately, sun came out, and the last two fish that I've had actually hit it on the way up. So that was pretty cool. Very nice fish. Came up and choked that meathead jig. Gone. We like that. We're gonna grab a quick pick, get this one back in the water. All right, hook is out. Slam that meathead jig. Choked her down there good. Let's get this guy back. Beauty of a fish. They get much, much bigger. Full of energy. All right. Woo, wow, that was awesome. I don't know how much longer we're gonna stay out here. Probably gonna be one of the last fish of the evening here, but uh, I've had a good day out here so far. It's been a lot of fun. Tried a couple techniques, still live bait has been doing the trick. As things get warmer, things are gonna progress. We're gonna have more fish, you know, coming up river here. And uh, yeah, things are gonna get pretty heated here very quick. We got some warm weather, conditions are looking good. We're gonna have a little rain this evening. So that's one of the reasons why we're gonna be heading out earlier than we want to. But everyone's getting out here. There's more boats every day. We're having fun with it. One right below you, John. There's one right below you. Like six or seven feet behind the transducer. There you go. Call them out. Atta boy. Yeah. Got him. See ya. <clears throat> well, guys, just got the boat on the trailer. We had an awesome day out here again. This was a lot of fun. We got into some walleyes, fairly similar techniques, but today did get a little bit better, more aggressive of a bite out there. And uh, I would say all of us did, like I said, just a smidge better than we did the last time we came out. And things are gonna progressively get better and better as the bite goes on. Things are gonna start to warm up. I think we got up to 50 degrees here today, which is crazy. Again, it's February 8th. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to this, guys. This is the craziest, I almost wanna call it spring, but this is the craziest winter we've ever experienced. It feels like spring, that's for sure. So I'm gonna keep things short. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions for us, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. If you guys are looking to book a trip out here on the Fox, make sure to get a hold of this guy, Cody Solberg, because I'll tell you what, this guy, I'll say it every time, he's a stick. He, uh, he got me on fish today. He's able to put you on some fish as well. So yeah, what'd you think of the bite today? It's getting better it's it's still slow there's a lot of stuff that has to happen yet we need some rain we get current going in the river to push some new fish in there's a lot of resident fish around right now it's, it's fun we're fishing in february right so it's can't complain but next couple weeks it's only gonna get better again guys we had a blast out here today and uh man shout out to john for making the trip all the way here not only to do some spring fishing but what else are we doing john what, what's the plan right now we're gonna shoot some squirrels. Some squirrels. Oh yeah. A little small game hunting. A little small game hunting. Hee <laughs> hee. That's crazy guys. That's how early it is. We are still able to go out and do some small game hunting because uh, well, it's early February. So usually we would not be able to do that because the season closes on February 29th. So we are gonna go do a little small game hunting. That's part of the reason why John made the trip out here. But again, had a blast. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. If you guys are looking to load up on some gear before coming out to the Fox, you're more than welcome to check out the Swamp Donkey. They are going to have all sorts of goodies for you. If you guys are looking for some new gear as far as reels go, again, we use the PC Fun Carbon X out here today. Same thing we used in the last video and it worked very well. If you guys want to load up on some gear, we will leave a link down in the description. 
PC Fun website, use code NBEdits18 at checkout and it'll save you guys 18% off on your next order. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one. Tight Lines from NBEdits.